It is an iconic picture that now spans two generations of fans. When the Jordan brand debuted Maya Moore in Wings Pose, a la Michael Jordan from back in the day, 1989, it created a ruckus bathing in nostalgia. And here in Minneapolis, that poster only saw the light of one day. More on that in a moment. But let's talk about this picture behind me that a father took of his four-year-old daughter, mimicking not only Maya's wingspan, but something much, much, no pun intended, more. It all started Sunday afternoons when four-year-old Liliana started doing what four-year-old Liliana does. We were down at uh, downtown, getting ready to go to a baseball game, Twins game. And uh, I was wearing a Minnesota Timberwolves hat. And my daughter, being as inquisitive as she is, was asking me questions about the hat, about basketball. You know, boys get to play on TV, do girls get to play on TV? It was in that moment that Liliana's dad called an audible and rerouted from Target Field to Target Center. Where did we go? To the women's game. The what game? The women's game. For the first time, Justice, his daughter, and his five-year-old son went to a Minnesota Lynx game. It was outstanding to just kind of see her marvel at the at Maya Moore and Simone Augustus coming out of the tunnel. Her, her and her brother actually got into an argument on, on who's better between girls or boys at basketball. You remember? Yeah, and Daddy said the girls are better. <laughs> Wait, girls can play basketball? Yeah. Really? Who's your favorite girls basketball player? Um, the women's game. Liliana doesn't really know much about the game, X's and O's and plays and all that stuff, but her dad knows what he saw, watching his kids watch the Lynx work. When her and my son were watching, I actually went a row behind them, just because I wanted to just witness um, what they were experiencing. Able to compose himself watching his children revel in women succeeding at the highest level, he took those pictures. And then post game with a full heart, that father was walking to the car with those kids when Liliana looked up and spread her arms wide. Maya Moore, uh, being able to inspire my daughter, um, it, it, you just, there, certain things just can't be replicated like that, right? You can't put it into words. They say imitation is the best form of flattery. And on a dying iPhone battery, a father got one last shot that day that has now been seen around the world. Even more iconic now that the infamous One Day Maya Moore poster is gone. I did it went away. It served its purpose, it found you. That billboard has now become urban legend as it called that building facade home for less than 24 hours. So those who saw it have a tale to tell, but fear not. The Jordan brand told me last night it is in conversations with Minneapolis to bring that poster back permanently. Awesome. And if you can't wait that long, it is available at the June 1st Lynx game. You know what? Seriously, something just hit me on this piece. And, and I grew up a boy with the Michael Jordan wingspan thing. Yeah, just, we, you know, right. So we had so that. Maya Moore. Right. So we had that. I can't imagine being in that girl's shoes and not having that. And now I see it. And you see how that changes with Maya's poster. And your piece directly shows the effect of that. And I think that that's wonderful. And you captured it greatly. Yeah, can you imagine being a kid, four years old, she doesn't know Maya Moore is. She walks out after a game and she just looks up and starts to go like this, just like her. So cool. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah.